What's up with the squad? Back with another video on Reckless. I'm good. So, you know, I've uh, been following with, you know, what's going on in um, Maui. Um, definitely been <clears throat> something that's uh, rather, uh, you know, crazy. Um, stuff that's going on. Seeing this title and this is my second video. I'll make sure I put the uh, video in the description box down below. But second video uh, from Jimmy Dore Live. Um, and definitely... Uh, amazing you know uh with knowing what's going on you don't have too many people uh reacting and researching and you know being independent reporters um yeah. with what's going on with maui but um you finished uh first video uh baby love this is her first video so it's actually <laughs> pretty tight um rennie um i forgot what her first video was um Some i think music. it was music yeah it had no idea yeah. yeah. definitely music but um definitely make sure you hit the like button subscribe button make sure you DM me on instagram life or reckless for more videos check out or email me life or reckless at yahoo.com let's get a video uh a couple weeks ago i was able to go to maui remember we had this yes. whole situation you were a big info uh, influence to say pasta you should go out there and see what's going on i did and a couple great things that were I happening didn't know out you were there do it <laughs> i did do it and yeah, i did it with great. your guys help guys uh, like I said, we have this video on Rumble. Uh, it's got over 313,000 views. Uh, I watched some of the information that's coming out of Maui from some of the independent journals who went there because the mainstream media packed up, went home. They didn't give a shit no, what's going on. they're this fake Russell Brand thing. They are. Nobody they, cares they love about that. what happened to Lahaina. Some of the things we were able to do was we were able to go find some mutual aid spots, right? And we were able to plug their gifts and goes and their GoFundMe. Remember this GoFundMe over here? Well, when we plugged this on the Jimmy Dore show, they had about $5,000 in their account. Now they're at 53,000. That was last night when I put that together. They're probably over 54,000. And all the comments are saying, hey, I saw you guys on Jimmy Dore. I saw Craig on Jimmy Dore. They way to go, Jimmy Dore, whatnot. Uh, so the dude is hard at work over there. There's a guy by the name of Scott he talks about over there as a surfer dude. He's in the movie. Uh, Lahaina on fire next week. You got to see this movie, guys. You're gonna love this. Uh, but there's also a indigenous dude, a, a local. Movie, yeah. uh, his name is Kawiki, and he sent over a little message yesterday saying thank you to all the love and support we're giving you. This is some of the good stuff over there. Uh, when I talked about being able to put money directly into the hands of the people instead of yeah. going through Red Cross, FEMA, Oprah, The Rock. No, we went right to the people. And this is Kawiki, who runs the uh, actual camp with uh, Scott and a couple other guys, uh, saying thank you. You know, to you know that comes with different stuff. Like when you actually like putting it with these different um, organizations and yeah, fundraisers. That's I, yeah, that's what I heard. Like, don't donate to them. Yeah. I think it was that guy that was on the video. Yeah. He said, don't donate to any of the Red Cross or anything. Donate to him. Yeah, you want to don you want to donate straightforward to the people rather than donating to them because you know that comes with complications. That actually yeah. comes with you know somebody sends something somewhere uh, like you know FEMA, Red Cross, and or Oprah. Yeah. They're gonna use part of that for something else. So you don't really know what they're using it for. Yeah, and they might not give you money. They might give you yeah. you know materialistic yeah. things to you know cover. Yeah. yeah. The uh, actual camp with uh, Scott and a couple other guys uh, saying thank you to us for all the work we've done. And I want to thank you guys for b making it. You know, it was like a dream come true to be able to go over there and do this. You guys really, this was one of the best things I've ever done. So here's Kawiki showing some love. Aloha, everybody. Coming to you live here from Maui, Lahaina, Maui. Um, just wanted to hop on here real quick to send a quick shout out to our boy Pasta. Jardula, I hope I said that correctly, um, and everybody from the Jimmy Dore Show. Uh, this is in regards to your recent texts, um, donations, and letters that were sent to us um, for support here at our distribution center where we've been, you know, taking care of the people here that's, that's been really affected by, uh, by the fires, the recent fires. Um, I just thought we'd hop on for a second and show some gratitude. Um, man we really appreciate you guys it's, it's people like you that help us to keep going and, and and keep continuing to give and take care of our people here in our town um without you guys man this would get tough you know financially um it's 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 tough you know, everybody's having to go back to work resources are starting to dwindle down um so once again we just wanted to come on here and say thank you we will be doing a follow-up video with with the rest of my team but as for now on behalf of me scotty and our team we just wanted to say thank you what you guys did for us and continue to do for us is amazing 
We appreciate you guys. Um, thank you so much. Aloha. So that's from the distribution center. It was a bunch of guys who used to sit on a bench, you know, hang on out after work, chill on out. And that became a distribution center for the people where they were bringing, you know, supplies in through boats and jet skis and the roads were closed and, you know, people were out there needing help. These guys really did an amazing thing and they're doing an amazing things. So for you guys to come and provide us with the finances and get them the money and the resources they need directly in the hands of the people, that is huge. It is big. Uh, and uh, we're going to follow up with these guys. There's going to be another story. Uh, and I can't wait for you guys to see the video this week, Lahaina on Fire, the Aftermath Volume 1. We go more into the actual mutual aid camp so you can see a little bit more of it. But that's Kawiki over here sending his love and thanks. But, Kurt, I told you this before. And I said, this is going to happen. And I'm not, you know, a, a genie over here guessing these things. But it says, check this out. This is from the Star Advisor. Unscrupulous fundraising for Maui relief under heavy scrutiny. What did I tell you? I said, eventually, the state's going to come in, and they're going to want to take away these mutual aid camps and shut them down. Oh, well, is here, that what that means? I thought they found... Because you got to think. Like, nowadays, like, people are going to want help from the people. that The people that actually wants to help. They, they want yeah. help from their people. They don't want help from liars, you know? And I just said I wasn't streaming a movie from The Rock, and here I am streaming a movie from The Rock. I said I wasn't gonna do that, and I did it anyways. That's crazy. It's gridiron game. I told you I'm, I'm not doing that. Like I'm, I'm cool off of that. I wasn't even thinking. But um, they, they, they don't want you know it to go to big organizations. Yeah, that's why. Like they don't. They, well, they want. Well, they don't want that. But they don't. <clears throat> these big organizations don't want these small organizations and like distribution centers to do anything like nothing like yeah to help like any they don't want any of that to be shown because this like they're they're getting uh, outdone you know what i mean yeah but they don't even want to help at all so now nah, they don't want to, they want to help in their own way yeah, yeah. but they still not help exactly Found, caught somebody in like they you're saying to. That they're talking yeah. about this guy no no they're this, that's not talking they're oh, talking oh. about in general now, here's the thing. If you catch somebody in a scam, Kurt, you just go after that guy. They want to make broad rules across the board. So, in other words, they're using the negative actors. They're going to go after the, the good actors, and that's yeah, what right. they're going to do. They're going to use it to attempt to shut down anybody. If somebody is breaking the law, just go after that person and, and get them, you know, arrested them. Why are you going to make a whole big bunch of laws that allow you to go after the good actors? Well, so that, that you don't have competition, so that you don't have the headache of having to worry about if they're... Yeah. yeah, we want to like. There's also an argument. Or I'm not for them doing that, but it's, there's also an argument of we want to make sure it's under our thing, so we can make sure it's not not fake. That's what they're you know, saying. Not, not a big help if they, yeah. if theirs is fake. But they want you to go through their resources, their avenues, going through all the red tape, all the NGOs mm -hmm. that people make money of. If it's a profit, it's a it's a money laundering scheme there too as well. And yeah. these people are taking our money, Kawiki. Yeah. You know who is and Scott? They're taking the money that we give them and getting aid right into the hands of the people quickly, fast, no questions asked. Right. So they're gonna go. They're not gonna like that. And I know they're gonna start snooping around because this is what they always do. So check this out from the Star Advisor in Hawaii, citing the immediate. Uh, the uh, immediacy of fundraising for Maui relief efforts, House Speaker Scott Sakai asked Governor Josh Green on Monday to issue an emergency proclamation to prohibit and criminalize fundraising under That's false crazy. pretenses. Is that not already a, a crime? It is, but what he's doing is he's asking for an emergency proc proclamation which expands their grab, which expands their, their abilities to stop people and shut them down. In other words, they're going to be able to go right to the fundraisers, go fund me, give and go, and said, shut them down for whatever reasons, mm -hmm. right? And then they'll make excuses up do left and right. They don't even do that. You know how many people are, <laughs> they like go fund me and Patreon. Like, how many people have just gotten away on those with, with fake? It's going to come. Yeah. It's going to come to the, the sense of like people going to have to just start like putting like, and it's kind of hard too because you got to think like, with the, I don't know if the, 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 cell towers and like how that is working right now but like it's it's hard to even do that when the cell phone is not even working when you're not even having wi-fi to send money yeah that too you know like it's it's stuff like that you can't really do you know having a debit card like what if the atms like yeah which i know what well, they probably moved out of the obviously but 
it's just little Still, stuff that like you like it, it makes it a little harder to do when they're not letting you do it yeah on top of everything else yeah so it, it makes it a little hard like trying to like i don't really know i don't i don't know yeah that makes sense I think it'll come to a time where you can cash out PayPal and use different pay like uh what do you uh Venmo which I don't know what they have. Yeah. Cuz you know Cuz everybody everyone Well, it's not really well, I'm pretty sure they have them. I am pretty sure. Yeah, they probably do. I don't know. But they I know are, for yeah. sure like I don't know if it's a little harder to get those things, but I don't know. They just making it real hard to you know look out for everybody in Maui right now. Yeah, when it can be a lot easier. Yeah, exactly. Make, yeah. Well, what they're going to do is they're going to use it to do this, and this is Sakai also asked the state attorney general, Anna Lopez, immediately institute a process to audit funds to ensure they are spent to assist Maui victims. In other words, you know, Ukraine can get a, 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 a an open check. We don't have to care where the money's going to. Remember, we were talking about like 80% of the, the weapons don't even make it. There's no auditing there, but they want to audit the funds from GoFundMe, Give, send, go, all these other places. Well, okay, will that cause it, look, will that make it so you can't access the funds until they're done or something? Or is it they pay the funds out, you know, give them direct to these people, and then they come and go, well, who would who, this go to? That, well, it could be a number of things. They can find out, they can hear something once again, just like they heard, you know, Russell Brand did something bad and they stopped the funding. Well, who knows what these emergency proclamations can do? They can say, well, no, you have a lot of faith in them after their great alarm use. Yeah. Exactly. And this, water it, uh, all, in all the, the hoses. Yeah, they, they want to do audits on that stuff. Why don't you do audits on the shit you shit the bed on? <laughs> what, yeah, why don't you figure out? You messed up on the freaking crisis. You turned the water off. You would you let people die in there and didn't let the cops let people out. You didn't warn anybody with the sirens, right? Why don't you audit that shit? Because they're not giving any answers on that still. In fact, the next story we're going to talk about when it comes to the biggest issue out there, which is the water to fight the fire there's more information on that remember we talked about that water guy yeah we'll get to that because i got some breaking news on that it is possible the unscrupulous individuals and entities non-profit or otherwise may use the maui wildfire as a pretext to raise funds to benefit maui victims when in fact funds will be used for other purposes i.e salaries non-wildfire expenses sakai wrote to green so they're broadening this whole thing. They're gonna uh, they're gonna give themselves extra powers to shut these places down. That's why I gotta go back to, to Maui and find out what's going on because there's gonna be a fight when this happens. Believe you me, I'm telling you right now, guys. This is some bad news. They're giving themselves extra emergency powers to shut down people who they don't like, and they don't like anybody outside their NGOs, their state-controlled entities. They want to control it all. Because they got to make sure their friends get money. Because their friends are going to come to them like, hey, all these people are doing this stuff. I can be making a shit ton of money off this code through me. All the NGOs. Mm -hmm. Sakai said the uh, <clears throat> said that a prohibition. That's, that's, that's where it's all it's all, like, yeah. it's all about money now. Yeah. It's all about money. It's all about money. I mean, at least wait if, if that's the case. But it's literally all about money. Yeah. On false fundraising fail uh, falls in line. With your prior proclamations prohibiting deceptive legal practices and land transactions, I would contend that deceptive fundraising practices pose a more immediate and urgent threat to innocent donors and may create a chilling effect on giving a time, giving at, at a time when it is needed now more than ever on Maui. Green said that the letter was under review and that Lopez previ previously urged um, uh, urged caution in donating to relief to fire relief efforts on August 9th and again on August 21st. So here they go, Kurt. They're going to start using their emergency powers to shut all these people down. Remember, at the end of the day, they're going to start uh, pretty soon all the relief aid for the hotels. They're about to cut that stuff off. They're about to cut that off. Like, you know, and they're like, oh, we're going to be able to keep people in hotels and Airbnbs. No, they're not. They're going to cut some people off. Some people will be able to stay, but some will be cut off. And who, where will they go? They're going to have to leave the island. You know, their yeah. job is going to be probably lost for some of them that, you know, were working down in Lahaina on Front Street because it's just destroyed. It's like a bomb in it. But that's what they're doing now. They're using their emergency powers now to shut down mutual aid. And I'm afraid the guys that we're helping out there might be on the chopping block. So we're going to have to and go. it's sad because, like, sad like sad to say, but, like, they want people out. Like, they want people going out of there. I must say, yeah, that's why all that went on, I feel like. Mm -hmm. and report and show the great work they're doing constantly follow up and fight for them to stay open especially when they're when they're giving the best help 
possible, which is aid directly to the people of also, Lahaina. Also, you know, it's great it got up to 50,000 50, from when you first put it up. Yeah. That's, you know, that's not a lot of money. When I think of the amount of, like, scams, yeah, uh, like, that's not even a lot of money. You know what I mean? Like, uh, it's, it's crazy to me yeah. <laughs> the scrutiny on that and not on, you know, like that BLM chick bought herself a couple of houses. Patrice Colors. Yeah, like Patrice. All, all these NGOs, they all make salaries. Mm. All the nonprofits. Yeah. All the people there make a profit. They make a salary off of it. Yeah. So you can see what this right is off. coming right away. I mean, you, you oh, could, yeah. they're, they're going to advertise that they're doing it for good, that they're stopping scammers and whatnot, but they're just using that to manufacture After consent. After you can't have the water on during a massive fire, I yeah. feel like you're not qualified to, 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 to do this. After you don't put on the, the sirens. Yeah. Because those are only for... Uh, typhoons. Accord, not according to their web. Said those are the largest sirens. What I they had. Didn't even have. Didn't even, have them right, didn't even turn them on. See. Crazy. Yeah. I don't know. Make sure I hit that like button though. Yeah. Uh, make sure I check out Jimmy Dore. Definitely an amazing show. Uh, description box down below. Um, definitely appreciate everybody. Um, family lit. This is Baby Love's first video. Y'all can see her a little bit. You showing the camera. She's asleep right now. Let me see. Put her up a little bit. She's sleep. I ain't gonna mess with her. But um, <clears throat> you found me first video. Um, sadly, it's a Maui video. Um, you know, yeah. but prayers out to them. Um, sending sending our thoughts, our love, you know, prayers and stuff like that. Cause it's definitely a sad thing. It's crazy. You no, know, definitely. Um, but much love to everybody. Um, definitely email me, DM me, more videos, check out. Um, and stay tuned. I'm gonna be streaming on the game tonight. Oh, okay. <laughs> Charlie, no. Catch on next.